Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new safe I'm gonna jump in again as a weaponsmith because I think he's a very fun character and I had a great time with him previously. Uh, so we're gonna jump in as him again and uh, I, I know there's a few characters that still haven't played and I will get to them, I promise, but I don't know. I just really like this guy. We've got the gold skin as him as well, which is really awesome. I think we've got all the skins for this guy now, but I need to check on that. Uh, but yeah, we'll just jump in um, straight back into some nuclear throne. I don't even know if I did a proper intro. I don't even remember. But with this guy, we can combine things into mega weapons and it's pretty awesome uh this is the sort of character that i just love um rapidly changing weapons even if it makes very little sense i i really like just basically changing my weapon at any any time as much as humanly possible even if it's downgrading it because even if it's not the most um efficient way of doing things it's definitely the most fun way of doing things and allows uh for a very very rapid change of play style almost constantly which i don't know i love <laughs> a character like this is just a lot of fun when you um when you say heck it to, to like efficiency and playing the best you can and just absolutely go for it in terms of wackiness so that's what i'm going to be doing i mean i might keep this weapon in the sewers here uh, for a little bit get even higher tier weapons yes please and i say i might keep this so i can get into the sewers maybe uh, but we'll see we'll see Realistically, what I should be doing is only combining weapons that are on the floor that I'm not going to take with me, but nah. <laughs> People are going to get annoyed by the way that I play this character, I realise, but I will never change. Okay, let me make sure I don't get insta-gibbed by this guy. Yeah. Lovely. Oh, that's not the end of the floor, okay. What the hell's possibly left? Ah, just two of you. Chill in this corn, I see. Yeah, we'll keep the explosive weapon for now until we uh, open up our sewers and we'll just use the shotgun here for a little bit. We've got enough ammo to get us through this floor, I would think. Make our way around. I wonder why these things produce light. There's certain things in this game that like produce light that are a bit strange. But look, this thing's producing light here. Why is that? Is that just to make sure the environment's lit up a little bit or is there a specific reason those things light up? Okay, well, I accidentally went straight in here. Not what I meant to do at all. We'll take Scarier Face. Um, I'll combine both of these into a Mega Laser. Which, really good, but the, the, pr the problem is with this is you, you end up with some uh, weapons that are potentially like, not very ammo efficient. We do also have a random ability on this, which I think is faster reload, which is kind of nice. Yeah, ammo efficiency isn't going to be the best on this thing. But we're able to kill stuff reasonably quick and get that ammo back, for the most part, I would think. And we get a disc gun here, which we can try and use. Could this car get out of the way, please? Oh, dude, that, that for some reason did a ton of damage to me. It was like I, there, was a, there was like a secondary explosion then, I'm not quite sure what that was about. Try and use this disc gun to take out the last little fella without killing myself. And... Use this thing until we're low on ammo on it, I guess. Beautiful stuff. And then combined into the bullet laser. Which seems equally as good. Another thing about this character as well that's really fun is uh, it makes taking, like, modifiers that affect different weapon types way more viable. Because you can, like, take the one that makes lasers do more damage and just end up looping into a, a laser weapon that's really good. I'm liking this bullet laser, by the way. This bullet laser's very good. But time to change again. Energy shank gun. Um, we'll take rhino skin here. I'm just going to go straight on through here. Energy shank gun. I have no idea what, what projectile this is going to produce, but okay. Was not ready for that. I'm very, very happy with the result. This is basically an energy screwdriver as a projectile. Seems gloriously powerful. I'm, this is probably a weapon I'm going to keep around for a little bit, I've got to say. This weapon seems like one I shouldn't be shouldn't be getting rid of very quickly at all. Okay, that bomb launcher did almost just kill me, so I might want to be a little more cautious about my usage of that. 
that's going to be something that I don't... How did that guy survive? Don't want to use unless I'm very confident I can not get hit. Okay, this is... Okay, this, this energy thing's not proving to be quite as good in a stage like this. Where's the dude that's respawning all these guys? There you are. You know what? We got Golden Burr this time here. Lucky shot, I guess. Cuba Revolver. I've not put myself in a good spot here, have I? Explosive Assault Rifle. Pretty good right now. Keep the explosive assault rifle going for now. I don't know how I actually survived that. That was pretty lucky. Oh my god, days, this thing's amazing. But yeah, not ever going to keep a weapon for long, I'll be honest, unless it's like absolutely god tier. This thing seems pretty good. The explosive assault rifle's just nuts. Plasma gun. The fact that it can destroy walls and do really good damage is just, yeah, cherry on top. Club. Get careful around these guys. Especially the bloody car-wielding dudes. Try and get as much rads as we actually can out of this, but it's a little difficult. Okay, nice. Right, um... Go with Enrich Metabolism. Reload speed, yeah. I don't know where my reload speed went the last time, but I've got some more back. I guess I just lost it somewhere. Yeah, that was a little sketchy. We got there, though. Bazooka. It's time to change. We got the Electro Rifle this time. Change it up again. We got whatever this is. The Splinter Shotgun. See, I just can't... I can't leave it be. I can't... Can't just leave it with the weapon that I have. I've got to be changing up as much as possible. Even though it puts me at greater risk, it's just more fun. I mean, the biggest risk right now is ammo loss. Um, it's like I could switch over to a weapon like this, which is not wholly ammo efficient and uh, very, very easily completely and utterly run out of ammo before I get another weapon. Which luckily didn't happen this time around. Explosive blade gun. Now that seems very dangerous. <laughs> this is probably going to kill me. <laughs> Explosive blade gun, come on now. You can't get much more ridiculous than that. Energy glove, okay. Hyper blood launcher. Hyper blood launcher seems pretty good. I just love being able to see more weapons as well. I'm seeing we weapons I don't ever see normally. I love that. Quadruple flame director. Kind of nice. Lovely. And then we got... Plutonium hunger there. We'll take that. Look at look at the damage this thing's doing and the ability to deal it at such a distance. Just absolutely no worries with this weapon right now. Energy jack. Okay, we'll take we'll keep that for now. Cool. And at this point, it's probably just like changing over to weapons when I've run out of ammo more than anything else. Two shotting those guys is pretty ludicrous. Oh, 
I've been two shotting those every single time thus far, but that one didn't feel the need to get two shot for some reason. Okay. Item drop, explosive, yes. Cool. Keep this for now. What's this again? The Ballista. Okay, I'll try that out when this inevitably runs out of ammo. Just spam the hell out of it for now. Wakey wakeys. Okay, nice. Got to level 9. Okay, we're going to get Ultra here. Nice. Oh, no, not quite, not quite. I thought we would have got Ultra there, but guess not. Um, I don't really know what to take here. Gamma Guts, I guess? How did that not kill you? What the hell? What's the blister only doing? Only doing like 50 damage. 35 damage, sorry. It's not enough, but there you go. That was an easy kill there. Okay, there's our ultra. I knew it would come fairly quick. Yeah, this thing's insanely strong. The fact that it's destroying shots as well is just the cherry on top. Beam shotgun. If that wasn't cursed, I'd definitely take it. Okay. In every area a weapon mod spawns, double weapon mod effectiveness, uh, combining a weapon adds a mod to it. When upgrading a weapon, you also gain two armor, armor maxes three. Increase reload speed and reduce ammo cost for all weapons, excluding melee. Um, and all weapon drops give you health, rads, and more ammo for all weapon types. Picking up weapons spawns lightning. Ooh, this is tricky. Um, reduced ammo cost sounds very good. Um, I'm going to go with this, though, for the armor, because I think that's going to allow us to stay alive the longest. Basically, every time I run out of armor, I just combined a new weapon, even if it means losing this thing, because although this thing is fun, like, we don't need to keep this. The fact that it's blood as well is so powerful, because it's just destroying all the shots. It's amazing. We've still got our armor ready. And the fact that it's hit scan as well is kind of... There's no travel time. And I'm getting most of my ammo back for it. Plutonium hunger is so good. Good. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? There you go. There's some thingy. I don't even know what I got here. The dragon. Okay. What tier is the Hyper Blood Launcher? 15. Okay, that makes sense why it's so good. Tier 15 is like a very high up tier. Good. At the minute, the dragon uses the same ammo as us, so we really want to get that out of here. Stop making your zubba zubba. I don't, I don't like that noise. Okay, we did lose some armor there. We got ourselves the splinter shovel, which is of tier 15 also. This thing with trigger fingers would be insanely good. But at the minute, it's just okay.
Wow, nice and easy kill on you. Both having a melee weapon as a secondary is pretty good stuff. Oh, dude, I'm losing armor. Although, for some reason, I didn't lose armor on that hit there. Do I have alkaline saliva? Maybe I do. Can't remember. Cannot remember. Yeah. Oh, fucking, I hate hate the fucking crows in this level that, like, just fly over walls behind you and stuff. Okay, we're losing armor left, right, and center right now. I don't even know where you've gone. How, how am I meant to keep a track of you? I mean, luckily I was able to kill you because of the immense power of this weapon, but that was very confusing, you've got to admit. Okay, we're very rapidly running out of ammo here. Golden Burr again. Weird. Yeah, good. Nice. Still on 40 ammo for this thing. I mean, like I said, Plutonium Hunger is keeping this thing alive. I think without it, we would have been kind of turfed. It would have been a lot harder to get ammo. We're able to pull ammo from anywhere right now. We got ourselves the golden yo yo gun. Nice. Cracking on this thing as well, why not? Get out of here. Lightning. Probably go swarm over explosive, yeah. And at this point, I can go in here. And okay, now this isn't the thing I wanted. Where's the other room? Ah, oh, it's over here, okay. I've got at least a few of these I can grab. Okay, only one that I can grab, but this plus one HP, it's not bad. I might do the challenge room, actually, you know, I've not done the challenge in ages. Right. Let's give the challenge room a go. It's been a while since I've done it. And I think this build is, uh... Definitely on par to be able to do it pretty easily, to be honest. And I'll, like, do replace blood with Kraken. Uh, bl blood with Kraken? No, I don't replace blood, sorry. Bullet with Kraken. See if I can get any, like, interesting bullet weapons that go absolutely nuts. Just the blood. So good. Keeping my ammo going with Plutonium Hunger as well. Chest there, get some overhealing. See this shit? It's beautiful. I don't like Little Hunter being a fella here. There we go, we got it. Okay, so we want bullet into something, really, don't we? Um. So we want to be looking for bullets. So bullet into shotgun, bullet into laser, um, melee into, cracking into melee, uh, bullet into plasma is a pretty good one. Um, bullet into bolt is a pretty good one. Um, this is tricky. What's the ones that are into cracking? So we've got 
Lightning, cra the Kraken ones are kind of crap, unfortunately. I didn't get very lucky with that. Um, let's go with Bullet into Plasma. Wait for it to just do its thing. Bullet into Plasma. Okay, so now if we get a bullet weapon, it's going to be very good. Okay, now we grab a crown. We grab... Uh, this one. But yeah, so now we're looking for a, a very good bullet weapon. That will become a very good plasma weapon. There's plenty that could uh, be very, very good for us here, so... Gotta keep our eyes peeled. Super Slugger. Splinter Storm. Oh my god. Okay. Made mistakes here. Okay, we're good. Heavy or a shotgun. Ultra Kraken launcher. Oh my god. That could be pretty awesome. Annihilator. Auto missile launcher. Oh my god. Holy shit. That might be one to keep. <laughs> for now. That sounds pretty goddamn good. That might be one to keep for now. I know it's not quite doing what I wanted in terms of bullet to plasma, but I'd say pretty decent what it is doing there. Nothing up here. Also, it doesn't use a ton of ammo either. I should say I had trigger fingers to go along with this. Stop taking away my armor, you prick. Also, stop giving me cursed chests. Annoying. Don't like it. The gyro weapons are pretty awesome. <laughs> I like them. Okay, we got here Infinity Slugger. I don't. I want to change the gyro weapon, but I also really don't. <laughs> it's so good. Now let's 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 do the uh, the courtyard here and see what see what's what. We've not done the courtyard in a while, and I think we have a good weapon set up to try it. I don't really know exactly how the courtyard works, especially on a loop. So this is going to be all kind of new to me. What I can do, which I didn't really think about, is uh, if I find a, a time where I've got a little bit of time spare. Yeah, I can do that where I've just uh, got myself some armor. The hell? Very confused by the shots that approach me there. I have no idea how long the courtyard is, or what the end goal is, or what the boss is, or anything. This is all very new to me, so... I apologize if I do very badly here. So unfortunately, as cool as the gyro thing is, it doesn't actually do all that much damage to uh, 
some of the enemies we needed doing a lot of damage too, so it has inverted the area now. So maybe we do want to change that over at some point. Scythe gun. What do we get here? Ultra triple heavy machine gun. Ow. It's one of these guys. My lord, there's some cool stuff happening here. Very confusing. Very cool. Um... I'm guessing this is something to do with the crowns that this guy is spawning, but I'm a little bit at a loss. What in the fuck was that? <laughs> Take the mu the multi crown. Multi crown, yeah. I got the multi crown. Right now, I need to just quickly go that and. Armor. Armor. Got the... Tier 33. Holy shit. Okay, I'm gonna keep that and just see what it does, because... Oh, it uses the same ammo, though. Tier 33 is, uh... Kind of insane. Something that was tier 20 there. Let's... Uh, excuse me. Could you please kindly fuck off while I organise my life? Where was that tier... It was a tier 20 thing there. Okay, that's tier 20. We get ourselves the Muchos Ray, whatever the hell this is called. It does use different ammo this time. Okay, so we'll see what the hell that does. Use this for now. These all the enemies are hard to hit. Is that everything? It is. Okay. I don't even know what to think right now. Keep current crown load out. Oh, so this is the multi-crown. Um, add... Okay, oh, these are all add. Crown, um, die and be reborn for one area of infinite ammo. Unlocks alternate ultra, ultra mutation. Wait, does this mean I instantly die and I'm reborn? Don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Okay, I have been reborn. Not really what I was hoping would happen there, but... Yeah, this isn't ideal. Isn't ideal. Okay, so is that the end of the area? Uh, did, I, did I get the main goal of that area done? Yeah, so... Never taking that, whatever the hell that was called again. A, the die and be reborn thing. Just never again, please. <laughs> that was terrible. I didn't think it would, like... I thought it meant, like, next time you die, you are reborn, rather than just instantly resetting your level. It, it shouldn't say die and be reborn. It just should say set you back to level one or something. The wording there confused me. Anyways, that was a fun run and we got to see, I think, the end of the crown area, which I think is just like the ability to take multiple crowns at once, which is a pretty cool reward, to be honest. But uh, anyways, yeah, really cool. I'm a little bit annoyed if we didn't get to try out whatever this was, because tier 33 is insane. I really want to see what that is. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.